Luton Town gained promotion to the Premier League through the playoffs. And they've had a bit of a historic rise from promotion from the Vanarama National League in 2013-14 all the way up into the Premier League next season, Dan. Brilliant. It's that good. It's a record. Yeah. They are the first team to go from the top tier of football in England league, in the English league and then go down to non-league football yeah. and then return back to the top tier. All the way back. Yeah. First team ever to do it. Uh, they actually had a horrendous run as well getting into the Van Rama National League as we can see here from 2006 2007 it was yeah. back to back to back relegations which I don't think I've actually seen elsewhere so that might be two no. records but then they've, uh, they've done that with the Division 2 and Division 1 they won back to back leagues to go up the two leagues they did yeah, yeah. very weird story that we've got and obviously there's so many like jokes and stuff about Luton Town going into the Premier League because of Kenilworth Road oh brilliant and you see it all the time yeah. of, oh I mean, they've got to go through someone's back garden to get they, there they were formed in 1885 and they they played in other areas in in around Luton, but they took this ground over in 1905, so they've been there since then. So yeah. it's a, it's just one of those stadiums in it. You just look at it and you just think, never a Premier League no. stadium. <laughs> it's that, you know? not, is it? So, but it just that's what makes it so good, though. That's what makes the Premier League so good, though. I think. Yeah. You know, when you got these big superstar players coming over and playing in our in our league. And then it could do a ground like this. It's yeah. brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> ten thousand capacity with a very poor stadium condition, which I don't think I've seen <laughs> yeah. much. But anyway, we are going to try and rebuild their journey in the Premier League. And first off, I think it's just trying to stay in the Premier League. So I'll be taking over Rob Edwards' job after his phenomenal time of obviously getting promoted through the playoffs. Uh, they've got familiar face for us. Sonny Bradley was a Plymouth Argyle player for a couple of seasons. Yeah. And I absolutely loved him as well yeah. when he was here. So let's take over Luton Town and see what we can do in the Premier League. Now, they gave us the board, gave us about £30 million, which I was quite surprised with, to be honest. Do you know, I was, I was thinking it was going to be around about 12 or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I was quite shocked. So they gave us enough money for me to actually build a, a, a fairly decent side. So let's start off. I brought in a striker as my first signer, as you can see, because I think in the Premier League, you need to search for those goals. So I went for Leeds youngster, Joe Gellhart. It's good. Very good player. Good player yeah. English, only 21 as well. Good ability, but also a cracking potential on the game. A little bit slower than what I usually like for a defender, but he's got time, hasn't he? So, £18 million was what I spent on him. Originally, he was from Wigan, then went to Leeds. He's played at Sunderland, but he's got a goal in the four games that we've played so far already, so I'm, I'm happy with that, to be honest. Let's take a look, though, because Adamo Nagalo was a Norgeland player last season. We brought him in. Uh, he can play centre-back. He can also play across the back three and CD yeah squad player yeah again youngster as well and quite cheap too 3.7 million pound scott mckenna from nottingham forest nottingham forest had quite a few players who were transfer listed on here and i'm not sure why but scott mckenna was one of them so i picked him up well, he will replace... they probably bought about 30 30 players That's didn't true. they yeah, they, did. they did buy a lot of players <laughs> he will probably replace a couple of the defenders that are probably not even that good in the championship on football manager but obviously we're going into premier league we needed to replace them scott mckenna's very good though six foot two he's left footed as well which gives you obviously a little bit of variety not too high wages but enough four million pound we brought him in from nottingham forest now the other sign-in that we got from forest mangala cdm seven million pound this was the last one we spent a little bit of money on very good like natural fitness and good like strength and stuff in the midfield some of his mental attributes aren't as good as what potentially we'll see in the premier league but for our standard i think he's good enough yeah and he can play cdm or center midfield only 25 7.75 million pound when they actually spent 10 million on him last season it's interesting you just bought two players off forest because they we've got a bit of history with forest not a very good history neither oh, okay we've been in three cup finals yeah one fa cup final two league cup finals 1959 was the first one yeah lost 2-1 to forest yeah 1989 was the second one lost 3-1 to forest cloughy's team as well that one, yeah it probably they? was yeah and i've got a feeling as well one of the cup finals was our friend the um Clough referee. Oh, really? I think that was the one with Luton Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, because we had a little story about him, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, that's right. And he refereed that game, so. The other signings that we have made, though, okay, I'm going to go with a big name. One matter. Yeah. I brought one matter back over to the Premier I'll League. take that. Bit of experience. Th yeah, 35 years of age. Not yeah. bad come off the bench. I mean, five pace. That's gone out the window, isn't it? As a free transfer from Galatasaray. He didn't play that much that season. Uh, but he's already got a goal and two assists. So there you go. that's not bad at all. And he's only taken £8,000 wages per week. I mean, he did rinse Man United for quite a long time. <laughs> yeah. Not that he wasn't 
good or anything, but still. I'm happy with that because as a player coming off the bench, set piece wise, he's fantastic, really. Yeah. I bought then got two players from Norwich, as we can see. Sam Byron plays fullback on both positions. I think that's a nice little option for us. A lot of 11s in there. We also got Kieran Dowell, who's more of a centre attacking midfielder. He will probably start, whereas come off the bench for one matter. Yeah. So I think that's the way we're going to go there with Kieran Dow because he was a free transfer from Norwich who played in the championship last season. Joe Ward from Peterborough, another free transfer. I don't know why I clicked on Peterborough. Joe Ward, there we go. Uh, very good right back on this game. I don't know whether he's like Premier League worthy, but yeah. we don't have a lot of money outside of what we already spent. No. I needed to bring in some fullback options. So Sam Byron and Joe Ward comes in so there. I think if you can bond a good team, they haven't got to be Premiership players. No, as long as they work hard. They work hard as a good team. Yeah. Like Bournemouth this year. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, very much like that. Uh, so I did let quite a few players go whose contracts was out. I actually let three players go to Plymouth, which hey. come on, get in in the Championship next season. That's obviously what the team kind of looks like there. I'm going with this as a uh, as a tactic. We've got yeah, it's risky. We've got Adebayo. We risky. Quite That's a lot of goals. Dangerous in the, in the yeah. Premier League, isn't it? We've got Adebayo who scored quite a lot of goals in the Championship last last season, so he can obviously fill in up front with Joe Gelhart. That shadow strike role, Kieran Dow, obviously one matter coming off the bench but we've got like this like back seven yeah which is gonna hold the fort i think we've got more of an attacking side on the right because we've got joe ward who's very good going forward but three defenders then so if i was to pick without restriction our best 11 it would look like this i want joe gerhardt in the middle because i think long term he'll probably be better but we've got mangala and uh alan campbell who, who's already obviously at Luton. Uh, we've got quite a few players who are still in the in the team. Bell being one of them. Shea. Lockyer being another. So we haven't exactly replaced all of the team yet. Which I think is a good thing to be yeah. honest and to see what see what we've got. We've got like a bit of a core from Luton's championship side still here. And we've got a decent enough bench uh, to, to, to obviously help us out. So schedule wise it looks like this. And to be honest I'll bloody take it. Yeah. It's better than seeing them all red, isn't it? We've That's got right, two yeah. losses, one there against Brighton away I mean, Brighton from are home. a good side. Tottenham were the best side in the league, I reckon. Um, so 4-1. And then giving Forrest an armour. That's yeah. really good result. Steal two of their transfer listed players and then beat them 5-0. Yeah. Very good indeed. Uh, beating Villa away from home at Villa That's Park. That's absolutely well, yeah. outstanding. We actually went 1-0 up. They equalised right after on the 18th minute here. Uh, and then we scored on the 24th. They went down to 10 men while they were chasing the game. So, yeah, it was a nice one. And then Brentford knocked us out, unfortunately, the Carabao Cup but first season I am worried about any cups no our main aim and goal is to stay in yeah, the Premier League definitely uh, November is horrendous dad Man City followed by Liverpool followed by Man United <laughs> that is awful December isn't too 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 nice either Chelsea Arsenal Newcastle but then again there's no easy games in the Premier League no so okay let's see how we do and we'll simulate this first season and keep all your fingers and toes crossed we can stay in this division <laughs> First season and we survived. We got a good points tally too. 42 yeah, points. I mean, we survived easily, really. Yeah, because Everton, the team below us who also survived, survived on 29 yeah. points, which is mental. I mean, our last few games weren't, wasn't a, a good run in, was it? But, no, um, well, four draws. Yeah. I mean, and, and, and against Liverpool as well. So I'll take that. I think that's a cracking season for us. Yeah. It looks like Fulham won a cup because they are now playing the Europa Conference League. Man City, of course, win the league. Uh, no surprises there. Liverpool, Man United and Tottenham getting in that top four position with Chelsea and Arsenal slipping down into fifth and sixth. Erling Haaland with 40. So that's Erling really Haaland realistic then. Goals, so that's yeah. how you expected to see it really, wouldn't you? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Newcastle dropped off quite a bit though, down to 11th yeah. place, bottom half that's of the table. Assist-wise though, Joe Ward got 14 assists. Not bad, eh? Yeah. What Not bad for a, a Peterborough player. Yeah. He's, he was playing in the Skybet League 1 last year. And this season, he got the most assists in the Premier League. Absolutely phenomenal stuff from Joe Ward. He could Maybe he should start smiling a little bit more. Yeah. And the Gallo got the most yellow cards, but... The, we don't praise that. Yeah. So that, I think, is absolutely fantastic. How do we do in the FA Cup? So, uh, fourth round by oh, West Ham, uh, yeah. which is absolutely fine. So you the FA out. Cup was take won out. by Manchester City. They probably won and won another treble. Carabao Cup was won by Fulham, who beat Manchester Ooh, City. City did nothing in domestic treble. Yeah. Uh, so that, I will definitely take. Phenomenal stuff. 16th place. What about the goals then? So Kieran Dow had 18 goals. He was the highest goal scorer, Dad, and he was a midfielder. Yeah. Which is surprising. That's a bit worrying. A little bit worrying. Yeah. It's not like the other two weren't scoring because, like, from a two-player striker formation, that your two strikers in the Premier League going to get 13 and 12 goals. Yeah. That's not too bad, to be no. honest. But it's just the fact that Kieran Dow managed to get five more than 
Adebayo and he was playing centre attacking midfield, which obviously is boring. He also got nine assists too. If you look at assist wise, Joe Ward had 14, Kieran Dow had nine, Alan Campbell had eight. One matter, he came off the bench quite a lot, 12 times, scored four and got two assists. I'll take that from yeah. you, one. Yeah. Very good stuff indeed. Not bad. Now, the big question is how are we going to capitalise on this season? Because the second season syndrome is alive and yeah. well. We always see it. What do we have to spend? 80 million. Well, he's going to make sure we're staying in the league, isn't he? Yeah. So we've got to make, we've got to make sure we've, what we buy is very wise here. Which does surprise me. I mean, there's no transfer debt. So they're like, right, we've got 80 million in the bank. You have it and just keep making us money. Yeah. Smart. I like that. Very smart from the loot. We haven't got to there. do nothing to the stadium because the stadium's fine. Just yep. concentrate on the team. That's it. We're still at Kenilworth Road. If, if, is there any landmarks stuff to to to? No, nothing yet. Sometimes it will come up and say <laughs> they they've paid or they're they're going to extend yeah. it or whatever. But well, they can't, nope. can they? Let's knock a few houses down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Mister, can you get out of your house yeah. so we can knock it down? Exactly. <laughs> do you mind if we go in your back garden all the time? <laughs> right. Okay. Let's go on to the second season. Before we do, we need to hear a word from our sponsor at San Gallo. The shirt I'm wearing is of the mighty Red Eagles Express FC. And they have won the Ugandan Premier League seven times, including as recent as 2021. And today's video sponsor, San Gallo, have made it their mission to increase the global exposure to the big, lesser known football clubs around the world, just like Express FC. Because they are the official jersey sellers for these clubs and they have a really close relationship. So if you buy through San Gallo, you're helping out those clubs. As you can see, it's a beautiful jersey. I love the red. Previously, in another video, my dad wore the Paro FC who play in the top flight of Bhutanese football. And they are just two of the clubs that San Gallo have on their website, sangallo.co. There is a link at the top of the description which you can click, which is also a tracking link so they know you came from me. And they have home, away, and even a third kit for the Indian side, Hyderabad FC. So if you want an incredibly unique football shirt, then this is the website for you. And you'll be supporting these smaller clubs in much smaller footballing nations, which I think is perfect because again, Sangalo are the official jersey sellers. The Sangalo team are fans of the channel. They love watching the rebuilds. They like Zealand, etc. The big football manager guys, which is more of a reason than ever to support them as well. So if you want to buy an Express FC shirt just like mine, and we can follow them hopefully to another Ugandan Premier League title together, then use my link at the top of the description. So, Dad, I had £17 million and I still have £30 million left at the end of the transfer window. That could be a mistake. However, I think that's a big mistake. However, <laughs> at the point, trying to bring but in then, players who want to come to you, that, I had about three players yeah. who was, I agreed terms with, but then were stolen from me by other clubs. Trying to bring it in has been very difficult indeed. Yeah, you're not, you're not going to get the, the big stars coming to you, really, are you? No. So we've got four players here that we have signed, uh, as well as another free transfer. So we'll look at that free transfer from Coventry. Gjorkas, who is a Swedish player who can play on the left or play up front or play on the right, to be fair. Uh, free transfer, he's now worth £26 million. So I think that's fantastic stuff. One thing about Coventry as well, I'm glad I'm glad they've sorted things out there. They're a, a team yeah. that um, I think people look at and think, well, you know. Could I do hope, all right. Yeah, they could do all right. I mean, they, I've got bad memories of them playing at Wembley against Spurs and beat us in the cup final. But I do always look for Coventry to see how they're getting on in that. And seeing the bad stuff that they've gone through, nearly folded, nearly lost a stadium and that. Yeah. I'm glad they sorted things out now and got things back to where they should be, really. Yeah, and very um, close. And they, they really nearly got promoted this yeah. season, and they so um, Absolutely. good luck next season for them. Giorkers, though, he scored 23 goals last season in the Championship. So I feel almost bad for stealing them on a free yeah. transfer there, but never mind. So the money that I did spend, we can have a look here. Two of the players was roughly about £15 million. Pound. I think I bought really well, to be fair. Kaiki. A Brazilian centre-back. He was one of the ones that was on Dad's list when he researched Jeez. FM22 Wonder Kids. <laughs> By the way, we are going on and doing the Benfica and Porto rebuild. We'll have that one coming out either next week or the week after. Uh, we had a little bit of a delay, of course. From thank you for everybody who sent their well wishes to Mum. She's out of hospital now, hopefully recovering uh, quite well. So thank you very much for all the messages. Uh, really do appreciate that. So Kaiki, we brought him in from Almeria, 14.5 million pound nice little uh, defensive wonder kid there but also Sobelev 
from Spartak Moscow. Good striker, six foot five. Ooh. Yeah, he's a monster, but he can also finish and head. He's quite good, to be fair. Uh, not exactly like slow, slow. He's not quick, but slow, not slow, slow. 15 million pounds. He scored nine goals last season in the Russian got Premier League. Already. Yep, not bad at all. And then we got Lewis Jr. We needed a new goalkeeper, personally. I think we needed an upgrade on that. Lewis Jr. comes in. We got a bit of a Brazilian thing going on now. This is not a realistic rebuild, by the way, because I very much doubt Luton Town would start signing <laughs> Brazilian <laughs> goalkeepers from <laughs> Malakau. Hey, 2.7 million pounds. You never though. know. Very cheap, to be fair. Uh, you got eight clean sheets last season. He's already got two in the Premier League. Oh, 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 that's a good sign. Yeah. And then finally, we got Martin Vitek from Sparta Prague. Very good centre back again. Six foot four. Nice and tall. You can also play CDM. You're buying quite into. a few young players there, mate. Yeah, again, 21 Building. years of age. Building a good side. Very much so for the Patreon members. Remember on the Patreon tier, uh, the £5 tier, you can take this save game over on patreon.com forward slash Gaming at the end of the five years. Let us know you get on. Absolutely. So that's the players that we brought in. We have lost quite a few players on free transfers and stuff that you might recognise if you're a Luton Town fan, but I guess if you're not, they won't really be familiar names because I didn't really recognise a lot of them either. Tactically, we're sticking with as we were. Where? We stayed up, forty-two well, yeah. points yeah, last season. Yeah. I'll give you that, but um, you know, I mean, you got the you, you got the back seven there, so you're, yeah. you're defending. Where we would have just put a couple of more in midfield just to secure it a bit more. How many players do you think we've got? We can't stick adding on <laughs> extra players. But all right, fair enough. Uh, Sabelev is going to be playing up front every single game. I want him up there. You got it. He's yeah. a big target player. You got to do that. Yeah. In this league, you just got to be upset in the defence. Yeah. And then he gets a chance for all the other players to catch up with him. Then absolutely. Uh, Gail Hart's done enough to now be considered the starting other striker there. Uh, Giorkas could also be a good shout up front, but that's the main reason why I put Sabelev up there because Giorkas would be the number one pick and I don't necessarily want that to happen. I think Sabella is the, the long term thing going up there but Gail Hart had a good season last year uh, and his progress looks quite nice so a couple of more seasons we could be looking at a quality player there if he reaches his potential. So that's basically what, we, what we're looking like right now. I would say the only weaknesses we still have from that previous Luton side is this left-hand side with Bell. He's okay, but he's not amazing. He's good physically, which is the only reason why I didn't go out of my way to replace him. But also uh, Alan Campbell in the midfield, who is still very good at what he does. Like Mentally, he's fantastic. Maybe not the best technically, so that could be something that we look forward to in the long run. Yeah. But I've put him in a position where he, he we're not relying on him to do like too much. He's not Andrea Pirlo no. uh, role. We're <laughs> not like saying like everything goes through him. He's He's the, the guy who's going to break stuff up for us. Yeah. And that's need, obviously need, what we need. You need that to a player as well. Yeah, you? for sure. Especially with a three at the back in behind him anyway. Uh, so, schedule-wise, this looks even better than what it did previously. We played that West Ham really twice in one week at home. One for uh, an Impanzu testimonial. Then we played them in the Premier League and we beat them 2-1. Good start. Very good. The cat kicker scored in the 92nd minute. Uh, Leeds away was a nil-nil. I'll take I'll that. I'll take that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's Very not an good. easy place to play, Alan Rowe. No. Arsenal away, 2-0, as expected, I guess. That's the um, the other game that we played in the cup final. That's the cup final we actually ah, won. Right. We beat Arsenal 3-2. Oh, right. Fair enough. 18-9, I think it was. Yeah. It? Something like that. Yeah. Not bad at all. Bournemouth, we beat them 6-2. Not bad at all. And okay. I am seeing something here. Power Court. What is that? So, have we moved stadium? We've got a new stadium. <laughs> we were just talking about that, weren't yeah. we? Yeah. Power Court in Luton. 17,000 built in 2024. There we hey. go. Look at that. Move to Power Court completed. So, we had moved. Nice. And All we right. got 70 million transfer. Right? What's going on? Yeah. Here? Somebody's rich. <laughs> What's happening here? We still got 46 million in the bank there. I, I bet they took out loads of loans, didn't they? No. Oh, fair enough. Right. Okay. We'll take that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Not bad at all. I've just seen Power. I thought, where the hell's Power Court? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mansfield, we beat them away from home 3 1. And then we went to, to Molyneux and beat them 1 0 as well with Sabalev getting the winner there. So, so far, it's so good. We're sitting in fourth. <laughs> Take that. Oh, that would be hilarious if we managed yeah. that first season or second season. So right. We're actually the... the um, if you break England down into areas, Luton are in the southern area. Yeah. They were the first team to go professional. Oh, really? Yeah. They actually paid quite a few players back when they first started playing in, in the early 90s, late 80s. And um, they went into financial difficulty and, and they had a fold. Because they were, it was like a couple of Luton teams, different districts, and they they went into one team then and made Luton town, Luton town type of thing. Yeah. And they folded type of thing, and um, it was a few years before they kicked off again and started again. And then in the nineteen twenties, I think they started playing again. Oh right, okay. But as, as a southern area, they were the first team to sort of play professionally. Professionally, yeah. Fair enough. Right, second season. Let's see how we do. 
Second season, 16th place again. Not as many points this no. time, set of 37, but we're still safe by five That's points a pity, there. really, we dropped down so far on it, really. Yeah, from fourth, but I wouldn't expect us to actually stay up there, but still. Very good to just survive. Fulham's won something again. Fulham have done very well. I think they've won the Carabao <laughs> Cup for the second year in a row there, by the looks of it. Liverpool are champions. They picked, they picked City by a point, though. Yeah, very tight at the top. Even though, like, City lost seven games, so... It was just a lot of draws there from Liverpool. Erlen Haaland got 44 this this season as well. Four We're not seeing any of our players there. That's a shame. But how have we done in the cup competitions? Did we manage to maybe have a good cup run? And that's the reason why. Quarterfinals of the FA Cup. Semi-final of oh, the Carabao. That's unlucky. Yeah. Uh, and it does look like... Oh, no. Fulham got eliminated from that. So it was oh, an all Merseyside oh. final. And Liverpool won it. FA Cup was won by Manchester United after extra time against Leicester. So I'm guessing... They might have won the UEFA. Cup. What did Fulham do? Unless they just... I have no idea. Oh, they got to the Europa League Conference Final and won it. Yeah. Well done, Fulham. Definitely. Fantastic yeah. stuff. Well done. I've got to be... I mean, Levski Sofia is not, you know, a massive team, but... They did all right there. Yeah. They've done all right. They've knocked out AEK, AZ, Stuttgart. They've knocked some big clubs out. Got to be proud of that. Well done, Fulham. Okay, not bad season. Goals-wise then, 21 from Zabalev, uh, 10 from Kieran Dow, 10 from Joe Gelhart, which is a little bit lower. Uh, he has grown quite well, though. Looks fantastic in regards to the mentals, and especially like he's wanted by a certain club now. Physicals are a little bit higher as well. And assist-wise, Kieran Dow got 14 assists. Not bad. Joe Ward no. stepped off a little bit there. But okay, that's uh, nothing hey, to be we're, snuffed We've out. stayed in the league. Yep. I guess it's second season. Two good seasons, really. Absolutely. £57 million again to spend next season. It's good. Very happy with that. Yeah, it's good. Why are we looking at Slough Town FC? Why are we looking there? Well, me and Dad have been asked to take part in a charity match at Slough Town's Arbor Park. Uh, I'll be playing. Dad will be part of the assistant management team. It's for charity for the mine charity set up by so Y Callum. Stick. Yeah, <laughs> we're on the same team. <laughs> set up by Y Callum, who is a Twitch streamer for football managers, all for a good cause. The likes of Tom FM, Clay's RDF. There's loads of different creators are going to be taking part. If you can get down to that stadium, it's on Saturday, the 29th of July, 11 o'clock kickoff. Would love to see you all down yeah, there. Definitely, if you yeah. can get there. Come meet us both. Uh, watch a game of There's football. There's loads of us to meet. You know, you've got yeah. quite a few of us to meet. So so, you know, all for a good cause as well for the Mind Charity. It's a fantastic event run by and, Y Callum. And the family's coming, so you'll meet all our family as well, the boys. Yeah, the boys are going to be there. We're going to, we're going to release gym. the boys. Yeah. <laughs> if you can look after Louis for us for an hour, that'd be great because he's a little menace. Uh, yeah. So that'll be fantastic if you can get down there, all for a good cause. We'll see you there July 29th. Right, season number three. My transfer started off with Anthony Gordon. Good signing. Yeah. Again, English winger, £18 million. Pound from £41 million. He barely played for Newcastle there, but he can play on both sides, can play up front, got the pace, maybe lacking some physicals, but for us, I think he's a very good uh, I acquisition. Think, I think it's a good signing for us, really, yeah. to be honest. Uh, we also picked up Joe Willock, who, to be honest, I think is an even better signing. <laughs> Just to say that, we just took two of their really good players. Yeah, and for two million pound. No, two million pound. He was on the transfer list. How old was he now? He not even old. A, not no. even old. Twenty-six. In the prime in the of his prime. career. In the prime of his career, we signed Joe Willock, who is a phenomenal player. Yeah. Physically, he's outstanding on this game, but mentally as well. Plays in so many different positions. Well, that player. is signing of the year, yeah, I think, in yeah. regards to any rebuild. Yeah. I think that's outstanding. We've also managed to bring in uh, Van der Brent, who is a Belgium right back. We needed to replace the right back. He wasn't doing as well as what he did previously. Starting to decline a little bit. £12 million from Salzburg. I think that's a really good signing, to be fair. Yep. Also picked up Dario Osorio from Chile. I noticed this guy in an experiment the other day and I yeah. thought, he looks decent. And then I've looked him up and he's actually good on this too. 21 years of age, he What's plays, he yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Funny that, wasn't it? Signing for Benfica in the next rebuild. 3.1 million pound from Chile. It's good. I was just more shocked, he got a work permit. <laughs> yeah, true, yeah. I signed him and I was like, oh, I, didn't, I didn't check. Did he get it? Did he get it? He did. He got a work permit, he can play for us, he's already got a goal for us and a very good average rating of 7.65. Yeah. Yeah. Quality player. Finally, 
say the final signing that we made is a 1.1 million pound deal uh, in Zeta who can play on the left hand side very good player that we picked up from beer shot uh, who also used to play for Anderlecht so we've lost a few players again on free transfers there's no value in the players that we're, we're selling unfortunately they've just got no value because if they're from the championship and they've never played for a while we're just releasing them to be honest yeah. that's fine um, I'm happy about the wage that. bill that's the main that's thing that's trouble yeah. yeah so tactically we are changed a 4-4-2 four, 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 two. Four, two. it's my, yeah. old, my old my old time that is out. yeah so we've got two defensive midfielders in the same positions what they were previously the Volante the Skunder Volante and the defensive midfield uh, because we haven't actually brought in another centre defensive midfield so our centre defensive midfield can still be Alan Campbell to yeah. be honest he's still there we didn't we didn't spend the money on it uh, and obviously of course we've now got the likes of Joe Willock and Mangala who can also play there too uh, but we've got wingers in abundance now with Osorio, Willick, Giorkas, and Zeta can also play there too. Anthony Gordon's quite good on the right hand side. Uh, we've got Giorkas and Joe Gelhart who can also be fighting for that position and next to Sobelev. And I think defensively we're looking quite good too. So if I pick without restriction our best 11, it would look like this. Van der Brent comes in and Zeta both comes in. McKenna and Vitek at the back. I quite like this team, you know. I, just say, I'd, I would agree with that. Yeah, that's probably the yeah. team that I would pick to be fair. Uh, maybe Kaiki in instead of Vitek possibly, but then he's not quite good yet. He needs that growth. Yeah. But I think we've also done quite well bringing in quite a lot of uh like backup yeah options. definitely yeah. you know look at the, the the names we've got on the bench it could be like it doesn't look like it's a huge steep drop off so i'm really happy with that to be honest schedule wise then it's not been too bad either we battered forest Again. at forest <laughs> five nil at the city ground but this next result a two or draw to liverpool take out yeah at power court which is weird to say, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, Brighton, 4-1 at Power Court too. Really, really good, good stuff. Yeah. Yep. Alan Campbell's even scoring goals. It's amazing. Then we went to Newcastle, unfortunately lost 4-1. He's called a Ken. Uh, but Pedro Gonzalez, who they've signed, has picked up a hat trick there. So that's unfortunate, but still, I will take that as our only loss so far in the Premier yeah. League. And we're up to seventh place after four games. I'll be disappointed we don't finish above 13th or something. I think we've got a better squad. Yeah. Different formation. Be around that mid table. Yeah. Sabelev is the current top scorer as well with six goals and the highest average rating. And he's got three assists. So that is not bad at all. No. Can he stick on to it? Let's find out and simulate this third season. Right, third season, seventh Go. place. Get in. Above Tottenham. <laughs> 62 when, points. When you look at it, when we see those first results, Newcastle gave us an Amrin. Yeah. Look where Newcastle were. Yeah. 14. Very bad. Yeah. 62 points, which was very close to Tottenham's 60 there. So the last five games was quite crucial. We lost to Chelsea, who are, who are uh, actually finished below us too in 10th yeah. place. Uh, they never seemed to do very well. I know they didn't do really well in real life, but... It's quite weird our foot managers sometimes get all those things right. It's interesting uh, to see what Potter's doing there. Is he selling, selling some good players, isn't he? He probably isn't. Oh, yeah, in real life, yeah. yeah. Mason Mount yeah. to Manchester United. Probably met, got the medical done as this video comes out. Also, if you haven't seen it yet, Football Manager released their uh, announcements for FM24 and FM25. I made a video about it, reacting to it. Go check it out. But it's something that we've all been waiting for for a very, very long time. New graphics engine, new UI I'm coming for FM25. Yeah, Dan's actually bought him, by the way, and been playing Football Manager lately. So uh, you might see him actually start uploading on his own channel where he has over 350 subscribers somehow. Uh, okay, profile then. The top goal scorers I am buzzing with. I mean, I know Haaland's got 36 and he's uncatchable almost. But we've got two players the right behind him. Two players right behind him, 25 and 22. If you go to the history of the Premier League, the Luton are on there for a particular person. Yeah. And it was against Man City. It was the last game of the season. And I'm not sure what season it was now, but I can always remember seeing this actually happen. They had to win. They were 2-1 down to the 72nd minute or something like that. And Man City got a penalty mm. to make it 3-1. They missed. All right. A couple of minutes later, Luton have scored and made it two each. And then, honestly, the very last kick of the ball, Luton have scored to stay in the league. Oof. And David Pleat went running across the pitch, giving it all different answers like that. And I can always remember seeing it. And if you ever see the history of the, of the, of the Premier League, it's, it's him running across the yeah, pitch yeah. and doing all that, you know? Yeah. Because obviously, Man, uh, Man City, it was a hard game to beat. Yeah. Was that at Main Road? I'm or, not sure. or at Kenilworth? I think it was at Kenilworth Road. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I think it was. I don't remember seeing it being a big ground, so I think it was at Ten Kenilworth Road. So. Yeah. But that's, it's you know, there's memories like that of, of the Luton, Luton, um, 
team and all that, you know, you just think they pick bits out and you think, oh, I remember that. And yeah, I remember yeah, that. yeah. You know, remember certain things happening. Yeah, yeah. It's like they had a famous de- director, Eric Morecambe. Yeah, I can always Morecambe remember him. Being, yeah. So uh, you know, certain little things that you always remember about certain teams is always a do or something. Like that. Yeah, yeah, know? definitely. Uh, so we've got Joko Hart and Sabalov. They were twenty-five and twenty-two. Both of them also had the highest av- or second and third highest average ratings. And Osorio got seventeen assists, only right. behind Trent Alexander Arnold, who's yeah. England's new best centre midfield. <laughs> yeah. Dario Osorio, I will take that. Your first season coming over from Chile as a young lad, and you got seventeen assists and two goals. Phenomenal stuff. Brilliant. And it's not down to corners because he only has eleven for corners. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. so very good. Yeah, probably set piece taker. No, he's not because I'm sure we've probably got somebody who's better at corners than yeah. eleven. It's just passing and crossing. Uh, so he's done exceptionally well there. Really happy with that. Next season. We're we're in Europe. European football. We're in Europe. Yeah. We're playing the Europa Conference League, which Fulham have won, by the way. Yeah. Remember that. They're all the way down in 17th. Like Leicester relegated. Everton Forest relegated. Again. Forest going down. Right, okay. Other competitions, though. Did we have a cup run this season? That would have been nice. Oh. Quarterfinals of the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup by Wolves and Leicester. Never mind. Wolves actually did quite well. They finished in the position above us. Yeah. West Ham as well. Look. I didn't really recognise those. I didn't see those no. two finishing above us. That's quite astounding. I think which is shock of us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> squad wise, this season, 32 and 31 from Sabalev and Joe Gelhart. Phenomenal. And they both had 11 assists. They've, yeah. they've got a nice connection. I can feel it I mean, already. Two players in your squad scoring in the 30s. Yeah. You, you deserve that. Don't you? Yeah, you definitely. We are. Uh, it does look like he's had a bad injury. What's that? Sprained knee ligaments. Ooh, okay. So he's not going to be out too long, but it does affect his bravery. But Joe Gelhart has got better and better. Wanted now by Manchester United. Ooh. It's definitely no. He'd yeah, want to go there. he'd rather stay here. Yeah. Uh, Eric Tenhu, let's have a look then at our transfer budget. 67. I'll tell you what, I like this loot and board. They, <laughs> they are great people. Uh, we only got 52 in the bank. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll take that. Let's see. Fourth season, what can we do with it? Right, we finally sold a player for money, Dad. It was Kieran Dow. We sold him for four million pounds. We only got him on a free, but we didn't play him a lot last season because of the change of formation yeah. and uh, the tactic meant that he didn't get as much game time as what he did previous seasons. You wanted to leave four four million pounds what we sold them to to Stoke who are actually in the Premier League now so we did bring in a little bit of money but I think I spent it quite well left back we finally brought in another left back in Tyrell Mal- Malasia or Malasia from of course Manchester United player in real life but we brought him in uh, from Brighton who picked him up and only lunged him out after loaning him for like two years playing him a little bit then buying him then loaning him out to China so he spent a lot of money on yeah. him and played him once yeah but then we did buy him for quite a lot of money well, to be so fair um, money, 20 million pounds but I think it's worth it because he does improve our back line. We also picked up James Garner, another ex-Manchester United player. Yeah. Very good centre defensive midfield. This will be Alan Campbell's replacement, who is roughly around about the time now to get replaced. But he's great. Like He's got a lot of 15s, a lot of 16s, and everywhere else, 12s to 14s. I'll definitely take that. Again, he's only 25 as well, so he's coming into his prime. 21 years of age. Got an assist already. And also another player from Everton, who of course got relegated this season, Dwight McNeil. Another English player. Plays on the left very well. Can also That's play on the player. right. It does mean Osorio's job is, is kind of in jeopardy after he had a great season. Yeah. But I couldn't pass up Dwight McNeil when he was on the transfer list for £24 million pound with the, 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 the calibre of players that want to come to Luton because their reputation is shot. Yeah. I think as well this season I had two signings I was like oh my god this is game changing and both of them were snapped from me. <laughs> I'm like ah, don't do that to me I hate it but there we go it always happens when you're a lower reputation side. Tactically we are sticking exactly how we were last season so Balev is going to stay in his position up front and if I pick without restriction the best 11 Dwight McNeil does take that place now but I think we're better for it because although uh, obviously Osorio did have a great time last season, he can impact stuff from the bench or give people a rest because we do have European football. Yeah. So I think that's quite important there. Definitely. And Kaiki's actually secured a position in, in, in centre back as well. Nice. Okay. Let's take a look then. Schedule wise, how have we done? How have we qualified for Europe? We have indeed. We've done quite well there. We haven't been given the results or the, the group stage yet, whatever it is, or our that's, results. We've had some good results there. We? we beat Krakowia in Poland in across two two games there, one nil in each. Slavia Prague, we beat 
them 7-2, which actually propelled us into the Europa Conference League qualification stage. So we now play in the Europa Conference League. But in the league, we lost to Manchester City in the first day. Then we beat Man United 1-0. We beat the best team in the world. 0-0 against Wolves, of course, were very that's, good. That's disappointing when you beat Man United and Jordy. Jordy Wolves, Wolves yeah. yeah. But then they were the, the position above us last season. They it's must been have a penny, really. Side. We haven't had Watford in our league because that's our rivals yeah. at Watford. So it would have been nice to have just to have a couple of games against They're them. Too busy sacking their managers. Yeah. Actually, while while we're here, can you pass me that box down there, please? No, not that one. That's that's my wrestling fake town. Obviously, I went to SI on the weekend, uh, last weekend, and they all gave us a lovely little box each with a mystery kit. And uh, some of you may know a lot of the staff and Miles Jacobson himself, the the director, yeah. is huge Watford fans. You'll never guess what shirt I got. Oh. <laughs> I got a Watford shirt. It's quite a nice shirt, to be fair. I mean, it is, I know yeah. I'm showing it off in a Luton video, which is not going to go down well with the Luton fans. It's not my fault. I don't pick yeah, the Watford The good shirt. thing is they're not in our league. Yeah, and I'm not wearing the shirt, so... Yeah. <laughs> Screw them. Yeah, uh, get sorry, out of sorry, Miles. Out and who? Yeah. Out and who? I went up to Miles and I was like, Miles, guess what shirt I've got? He went, what? I opened it and he went, I'm so sorry, mate. <laughs> well, that's quite funny. But there we go. They're too busy sacking their managers. Uh, they can't get up into our division. Good start then. Good start. Let's see how we do this season. Okay. We dropped massively. I mean, we survived quite easily, but we still survived with the skin of our team, really. Yeah, we? we've had some bad runs there. However, 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 there is a Europa <laughs> League qualification not, there. Not only have we gone into Europe, we might have won something. Let's not spoil the party just yet. <laughs> okay, so we've got no players in and around in anything, but we got 38 That's points. That's the first time that that has been a bad season for us, really. Yeah, 14 points, though, above Sheffield yeah. United. It's a very low league table this year. Like, that's record, must be for the three. That's gone down. Liverpool at 92, which was, they absolutely walked the league, yeah. if anything. So, yeah. But Come we on, do we have won. qualification. Get it, we've won in Europe. Get European it. champions, <laughs> Luton Town. Come on, if only we were at Kenilworth. One of the, yeah. the clubs that would have to come to Kenilworth then. Uh, we're the winners of the Europa Conference League. We defeated Basel 4 0 in the that final. Is our result. 4 0. They're a good side. Unbelievable star. So, in the league phase, we finished in 10th place. We won three with Astana. Zrazinski. So in the next phase, then the round of 16. Oh no, we went into the knockout playoff round. We knocked out uh, Shkupi, which is a team from Macedonia. Then in the round of 16, we knocked out Cluj from Romania. 9-1. Goes to show me what I always say. Win, Win your, your own games. games. Quarter final, we knocked out Leipzig. That's a hell of a <laughs> That is, that is outstanding with the likes of Shabosh Lai. Look at the size of that stadium. We've probably yeah. just fit in just a little bit in the middle. We got Shabosh Lai who on this day as we're recording is about yeah. to sign for Liverpool by yeah, the looks of it. Like it yeah. And then in the semi-final we knocked out Legia Warszawa from Poland. Very thought good that, team. I thought that was Argo then for a second. This yeah. Almost the same kit. Nice it? kit. Nice stadium too. I yeah. like the Legia stadium. There we go. What a, what a, we won a European Cup. I think we would just finish now. Yeah. Might as well we're to be fair. Yeah. We are heroes now. Heroes in Luton. Right. We've got to see what we do in the Europa League. Yeah. Right, okay, that's fantastic stuff. Goals wise, 37 from, ba from Sabelev uh, and 33 from Joe so Gelhart. We kept both our strikers in the 30s. Yeah. Even better. Yeah, but just we... not in the league. They were too busy yeah. scoring elsewhere. I'll take it though. Um, wait, look how good he is oh, now, yeah. Joe Gelhart. Good, yeah. and Chelsea, Man United, and Real Madrid are all in for him now, but that's what you happens when he scores keep that many. One more season. Yeah, it looks like, like when we're playing, all the greens are just European games, look. Yeah. They're all European <laughs> games. We don't win in the Premier League, so, but we beat Man City in January, look, 3-2, and then we go on this horrendous run where we do not win in the Premier League until May. So we went yeah. from January we were, to May without we a win. We were close to being sacked. Yeah. Now they were like, oh, he's just doing so well in the in the Euro in Europa Conference League. Just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. That City game, look, mainly scored an hat-trick, look. Yeah. Look how early they scored the actress. What was the score? 39, it's 27, 35th and 39 minutes. So he scored oh, so a hat-trick in 12 minutes. They went 1-0 up. Yeah. And then we went 3-1 up. Yeah, he yeah. scored a hat-trick in 12 yeah. minutes. <laughs> the start of our season was a lot better, obviously. We had quite a few yeah. wins in there, especially around like December. We had we had a nice little uh, run there. But yeah, European football really stunted us in the in the back half of the season. Transfer-wise, though, £34 million. Pound. Oh, it's starting to catch up now. They're not happy with you now, are they? No, they're starting to catch up a little bit now. <laughs> and then we only got £51 million. 
Dragon Palm. We've got a little bit of debt, not too much, but they're just like, okay, you've got a team, we'll give you yeah. 34 million, which I'm, I'm fine with. There's a lot of players who are wanted as well. We could bring and raise money should we wish to, because, I mean, Joe Gellhart's worth 90 million at the minute. Yeah, so, do you want to get rid of them? Well, let's see. Let's see what banging, I do in the fifth and final goals, season. Lot, I sold an English striker, but it wasn't Joe Gellhart. It was Adebayo. About time, really, I think he's been asking to go for the last couple of seasons because he hasn't played that much just coming off the bench like 10 times a season. But we sold him for still for 6.5 million pounds, which I think is quite nice. It's interesting yeah. you brought up a striker, though, because Luton have got a record in the Football League record of a person scoring the most goals in one game. Okay. 1936-37. Yeah. You remember it well? I do, yeah. <laughs> this gentleman's called Joe Peng. Yeah. He scored 55 goals in 39 games, but he scored 10 goals in one game. <laughs> <laughs> against Bristol Rovers, which is a football league record. Yeah, I'm not surprised, <laughs> yeah. to be honest. <laughs> 10 in one game. Yeah. Right, fair enough. Okay, well, Adebayo didn't quite do that. No. He didn't even <laughs> score 10 in the last five se or four seasons. But yeah, he is now gone, but we have replaced him kind of with other players in different positions. Conson Sal from Ajax, the Portuguese winger, bringing him in on that right-hand side. He's fantastic, to be fair. I really like him. Portuguese, is he? Yeah, What's 24. He Conson Sal, yeah. <laughs> Very funny. From Porto. So he goes to Ajax. So if anybody signed him, he won't like Benfica. Remember that. <laughs> yeah. uh, then we also signed Antonio Rudiger. Free transfer oh, from Real Madrid. That is a hell of a sign in. He's like, I go to the European champions, yeah, Luton Town. I'll take, even though he's 34, I still take him. He's still really good. Yeah, he's like going to be in 14 he? pace. The he's only thing he's crap at is agility. Yeah, he's still really good at age 34. And 120 grand a week is probably more than the whole wage of Luton <laughs> right now. But we'll take that. Free transfer, European champion, Antonio Rudiger. Yes. Somebody who, when he was leaving Chelsea, I was really hoping went to United because I, I, I like I him. I play for Roma, I play for Chelsea, I play for Real Madrid, and I, I play, play for, for Luton. Luton. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, uh, Nick Pope. We needed a backup goalkeeper. Nick Pope, 1.5 million. That's a good sign. Yeah, just as a backup, to be fair. Like, yeah. he, you know, he's not quite there physically anymore, but 1.5 million pounds. And then 1.6 million on Derek from Las Palmas. He is a regen, plays right back, can also play CDM. Actually, is quite good, to be fair, and I've actually been playing him, so not a bad player. Is that all the signings? No, we have a big one. We have Dion Drenner Belgio, Croatian striker, six foot five. He might be good. better than uh, Samela. I mean, you've 31 caps and he's got 20 goals in his 31 caps. Yeah, for Croatia, it's outstanding, that is isn't it? Good. He's on even more wages than Rudiger, but still, we'll take that. 20 million pound, he scored 15 goals last season for Wolfsburg. And he's banged in five already for he's banged in five, five and five. Come on. Yeah, he's very good indeed. Uh, so, we'll take a look then at our tactic. We are playing him in that position. So, we still have Sabelev, but he might take a bit of a back seat now. Yeah. However, it's not bad having two of very similar players well, when you're honest, in I'm, European I'm competition. Thinking, this is going to be our last season. There's a couple of players that are wanted for big money. Yeah. So if you don't get the big wage budget next season with the, the transfer budget next season, you've got a couple of good players that you could sell because we just bought that player. Yeah, absolutely. We've even changed some of the roles in the centre mid. I've gone for a centre midfield on attack now. Uh, we've got the likes of Garner and Willock and Osorio. We can all play in that role. Uh, and if I did pick without restriction our best 11, James Garner and Joel Willock do supply those two in midfield we've got yeah. Anthony Gordon Dwight McNeil very English based in this midfield like. mate this just, this just looks good side yeah it does this doesn't does it look a good side very good team indeed Van der Brent on the right hand side Malassi on the left Rudiger and Wittek there Lewis Jr in goal a good blend of foreign players with the English midfield there I quite like it and of course our star man Joe Gellhart who looks fantastic uh, can he bang in a lot of goals this season well the start of the season have gone very well we started off a bad game against Brighton we lost 3-1. Look at the teams we've just beat. But the teams we've just beat are outstanding. Now, you should see my face when I seen the, our, our first four games. I was like, oh, get out of yeah. it. <laughs> but no, we can't wait with three now, wins. Then. Yeah. 4-2 against Tottenham, which was probably the easiest game of the start of our season. We then beat Manchester City away from home. 3-2. That was teeth. Joe Gellhart. How long did it take him to get a hat-trick last season? 12 minutes. But that was minutes. 27 minutes until something. Against the same team. Yeah, against the same team. At the Etihad. Minutes. 14 minutes from oh, kickoff. He's a legend already, yeah. isn't he? Unbelievable. Then a 4 0 win against Chelsea. Belgium got a hat trick this time round. And then we drew 0 0 in Arch. We're playing Europa League football yes, next are, year. Like Let's have a look. We've got Hasdruk Split. We've got Rangers, your Gordons there. We've got AZ Alkmaar, Young Boys, Rapid, Athletic Ooh. Bilbao. And we're ending it with Porto. Very 
tricky we've, and uh, we've got to win our own games here yeah we've, we've got, got to win, win that so we, well, we've got to get and as then, many wins as possible and then hopefully get, six. get a couple of draws or something or yeah. a lucky win away come on we'll then. qualify we'll qualify yeah I'm, I'm excited yes yeah, right definitely. okay fifth and final season let's see how we get on Final season, we're into oh, seventh place. In. We'll take that. that matches, seventh place. That matches the best position that we've actually finished in the top league. Yeah? The seventh, yeah. Well, there we go. 56 points. We had a bad run at the end of the oh, season there, but that was Chelsea okay. and Man City getting their own back. Yeah. Uh, but we did beat Norwich. It's a shame, really, because we could have gone up. Yeah, we could have gone up in one more place. Uh, although, we have still qualified for Europa League because yeah. of obviously West Ham there. Brentford have won the Europa League by the looks of it because they are now playing Champions League football. Oh, they didn't beat us. Oh, no, that would be really <laughs> annoying. Forest Forest have gone again. down. They keep coming up, coming oh. back down. Never mind, Forest. The let's take a look then. Do we have any goal scorers? Belgium got twenty. I'll take that. And Constant yeah. Sal got thirteen assists. Lovely All stuff. Right. Tottenham yeah. signed Evan Ferguson, by the way. It's a good signing. It is a good signing. A good Harry Kane replacement, yeah. that isn't it? Yeah. Very uh, similar stature and Is player. he gonna go? What Harry Kane? Yeah. I don't think so. I don't, don't think he think? wants to let him go. He'll go for free next year. I think it's a bad mistake. Yeah. I'm, 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 don't get me wrong, I'm a big Harry Kane fan, as you know, but I think it's a big mistake letting him go for nothing next season. Oh, yeah, definitely. You, you know, if he's, it looks like he's definitely going to go, whether it's mm. this season or the next season, then you got to cash in. Yeah, I, I agree, but that's not what Daniel Levy wants to do, no, is it? Arsenal won the league, by the way. They are champions, 86 points. Not they're going to be all. such a good side this season. Well, yeah, the players that they're, they're picking oh, up. Oh, my word. How have we done in other competitions, though, Dad? Our final Come season... On. Get in! FA Cup FA winners! Cup. Yes! Let's go! It. Love that! FA Cup winners on penalties against Bournemouth, Bournemouth. in the final. In the FA Cup final? I'm yeah, saying. not Get bad in. at all. So the goal scorers in that final, Van der Brent, that right back. Oh, we played with 10 men for oh. so long as well. Oh. Kaiki got himself sent off on the half time mark. So we beat him on penalties 8 7. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they missed two penalties. Oh, Constant Sound missed one. Uh, Joe Willock got a go in the 70th minute. Right, okay, not bad. They scored in the 69th, we scored in the 70th. That must have been heartbreaking yeah, for them. Definitely, Equalize, yeah. yes. Oh, conceded again. <laughs> but yeah, we still went on and won it. I'll take that definitely. Right, okay. Other competitions. We got to the round of 16 against Club Rouge. Who won it? Who got to the final? It was Brentford. Yeah. It was Juventus. Brentford. They beat Juventus in the final. Hampton Park. Yeah, not bad for them at all, is it? No. Uh, oh my God. Eight wins from eight in the Europa League. Oh eight. my God! We smashed Paul three, three one. We beat up a little bit six nil at home. <laughs> what a team we are! Can only play bass players, can you? <laughs> well, that's shit. <laughs> six nil. Unbelievable. Seven nil against Hajduk Split. Hajduk Split. Hajduk Split. Hajduk Split. Yeah, get, right. get told off else. Yeah. We beat Rangers three nil. Get in. Unbelievable. What a result that was. I bet. Uh, I, bet I bet they were. Gutted really because yeah. of the final being at Scotland as well. How annoying we then got knocked out by Club Rouge yeah. after doing that. Because oh. where did they finish? Ninth. So they lost two. But oh, that's so frustrating. You just don't know then, do you? We, no. we could be playing Champions League football next year. <sighs> Never mind. Fourth round of the Carabao Cup by Manchester United. The squad then. 36 goals from Joe Gelhart. Not bad at all. Nope. Is he wanted? He is. Chelsea he is. and Bayern Munich this time is. around. So you can cash in. Uh, Belgio got 31 goals. He isn't Good wanted, start. so you might be able to keep him quite yeah. easily. 19 assists from Constance Sauer. I forgive him for missing that penalty then. Yeah. 19 assists and we still won it. Joe Willock did very well as well. And that's, that's hell of a signing, isn't it, Joe yeah. Willock? Three seasons, he's played phenomenal for us and, and it was only £2.8 million, pound, a first-team player. Brilliant. Cannot knock that. Very good season. Let's take a look then. What will you guys have on the Patreon? 100 million. 33. Do you know that's the first time it's gone down on us, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm buzzing with that. Uh, there we go. There you go. So, Dad, what is the what is the goal for the Patreon members? Try and beat our seventh position. Yeah, I think we I mean, we want to we want a, a European Cup. We want the FA Cup. So that's the two cups that I like. Just just try and get into the Champions League. Yeah, try why and get not? One of those bitches. You've got possible. a good squad. You could cash in on one or two players. Yeah, and get a few better players in. But I think you've got a hell of a squad there. Yeah, absolutely. Hell of a squad. So yeah, you never for know. Sure. Right, let us know if you do decide to take it on. And of course, make sure you check out Sangalo, the link at the top description. If you use that link, that is a tracking link so they know you came from me. So I really do appreciate it. Yeah. Their kits are absolutely phenomenal, just like this one from Express FC. And of course, if you want to come watch me play football live and watch Dad shout at me from the touchline in Slough, you can get 29th down there. of July, on, you can definitely good, do it. Be a good day. The ticket price is £10, but that goes straight to the charity. Of course, it supports Mind Charity, which is a mental health charity. And I absolutely love 
love that. Uh, so please, if you can get down there, would love to see you. Great, Make sure yeah, you come and say hi. It'd be great to meet a few of you. You know, yeah. you, we, we speak to you on, on, on the screen and that, and we answer a few questions you ask, but it'd be really good to put name to faces. Yeah, absolutely. So if you can come and see faces us, to names, would <laughs> love to see you. Right. Thank you very much. We'll see you next week. It might be the Benfica Porter one if we can get it done in time. If not, it'll probably be the week after, but we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.